zero eliminations. Well. Yeah, it's just, just rough for both Damwon and Nova. And for the Xavier, they, they had a chance here, but now down to just a two-man squad, I'm not too sure they'll be able to capitalize on the fact that Nova and Damwon got eliminated with zero points to the name. Reject in the meantime, getting harassed by all the nades being lobbed in. Although Team Secret do lose a member, the second one getting knocked as well. That's a beautiful shot coming in from Newsy with the Arctic Warfare from the distance. And he's going to finish off Jumper. Team Secret down to just one man standing. It's all on Fredo and Reiji is looking for him. He's not looking in the right direction right now. It's behind the rock. He's going to get caught out. Fredo opens the door. Yeah, the entire Rico Infinity all for alive, and they're going to be going in for the finish. Lovely. SK Ton with a little bit of some style points there, finishes off the Xavier. They will go down in the ninth place with three elimination points. Stalwart, fourth place team, 122 points, eight eliminations. They're going to be in the running for the top spot. If they keep on going like this, they do have to get past Sigma Galaxy. That's going to be a tough ask, but initial knock on the roof by Pika is wonderful. Oh. Pika is being so very brave here, and I'm starting to sweat for him. Great nade, as you pointed out, to get the knock. I'm not sure who picked up the finish. SK-10 on the open. That's a bit of a problem, and he should be done for here. Appy is going to ensure he tries to get the uh, elimination, but the play zone is going to steal it away from him. Rico Infinity have lost a couple of members here. It's not looking pretty at all. They do have six eliminations in the name, but as you pointed out, Strawbot Esports, 10, and they're moving in for the kill. In the Galaxy, I think they just have one member still standing, and Strawbot are pushing in for the kill, and I do believe they've done so. Nigma Galaxy out of here. Strawbot Esports, sure, they have a man down, but the res is going to be coming in. 13 eliminations. They're looking for more. Uh, could we see the record be broken on the final day of the PMDC finals? That would be certainly sending a message to the rest of the lobby. That would be Stalwart making a massive statement to the rest of the lobby, saying we are here, we can do, we will do it. The grand finals, the global finals, the big dog of many hours for the taking. I mean, the, there are like 12. Uh, they found another one as well. Rico Infinity will finally fall. And yeah, Star Wars Esports, 14. They have 12 more players to find. <laughs> they can easily break the, break the records if they do wish to action. However, for the time being, a bit of a halt to the action as he will be brought onto his knees courtesy of four rivals. Reject will, in the meantime, will also be knocked out. Down to the final four teams, 15 still alive. Four rivals, they stuck in this. They were put under pressure by Infinity at one point, but they got themselves up as a full squad. They used this little bit of a dip on the side of the hill to their advantage to be avoided by the teams up and towards the northern edge of the circle, even get a couple of counter shots off, and they're away from the sightlines of Infinity and Cryptics, more importantly. So four rivals, although they now have to move into the circle, they played some great positioning in this game. Yeah, uh, even Star Wars Esports, even the Cryptics, they do have that that trench. The fact that Star Wars Esports have the uh, have a zone as well, I don't think they really need to move in. So this could potentially come down to Star Wars Esports and oh, Cryptics. Lazy boy, boy trying to go over the top and is going to get a knock onto Newsy. I think it's been finished off as well. So Infinity getting harassed in multiple directions. God Tunny will fall to four rivals and one member still standing. It's Logan. He's got to pop his claws. He's got to go big here. Rez looking unlikely, and four rivals can see them slowly crawling the way, trying to take care of Infinity so they can concentrate on the other two uh, teams still alive in the zone. Cryptics again could be getting a little bit more aggressive if they want to do, but they are allowing Infinity and four rivals to take each other out. Logan put down Ow. to like 10 health. How is he still alive? I think it's on. Oh, oh, there we go. Eventually he'll fall. His healing factor doesn't really come into play here. Three teams, 4v4v4. Four v4, v4. We rarely get to see this. This is going to be spicy, Perry. 14 eliminations for Stalwart, 8 for five, 4 rivals, and finally 3 for Cryptics. Man, I'm so happy with Cryptics. Another Mina team possibly making it in to the global finals. That could happen, but Senke goes down. That's not good for them. Yeah, losing a member now. Clearly, with a one-player disadvantage, four rivals taking fights on multiple fronts. They're going up against Stalwart, they're going up against Cryptics, and they're the one team don't really have much coverage. They're the one team is also outside every single player outside of the zone, but they manage to creep, creep on in. Rithal providing a little bit of suppressing fire, but Top is gonna find him, knocks him down, and quickly finished off as well by action. 
Now the 4v3v3 advantage for Stormwood Esports, although they just have these smokes to obscure the vision for four rivals and for cryptics. And Flappy, Appy just pushing Oh, that nade! Oh, that, that nade! nade is massive, along with the incendiary as well. And cryptics have just got absolutely annihilated by four rivals. And now it's all on Stormwood Esports to put them down it is a 3v2 i do believe and four rivals make that just one man standing can he hold down his own against the mongolians it is looking unlikely here he's got a late prone he's got no first aid kids and star with esports are gonna take the chicken dinner 17 eliminations sure they don't break the uh the record for the tournament but holy hell we might be seeing a fourth contender for the throne now